Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Cocos 2DX on your Mac so you can run it for iOS and the Mac platform. If you're interested in Android, feel free to check out my video covering that. I've got videos covering the setup, um, the setup for Windows and Linux as well. So first of all, what you want to do, make sure you've actually got Xcode installed. You can get this from the Mac App Store. Once you've got that, open up your web browser. Go to the cocos2d-x.org website. I'll provide a link to this so you don't have to type it in manually if you do not want to. Go to download. Go here and select the latest version. This will start downloading it. I'm going to cancel it. I don't want you to cancel it. Cancel it. I cancelled it simply because I've already got it downloaded. So just double click it. It will unzip the file. And this shouldn't take very long at all, just probably about five, ten seconds. And then what you want to do is copy this. I recommend putting it into your applications. Create a folder in here called development. Put it in here. So this is will be your permanent directory for the Cocos 2DX game engine. And again, this shouldn't take very long to copy over. I just love how the numbers are sticking down that fast. Just love it. Okay. Final step before we actually start installing it, I recommend renaming this to Cocos2D-X. The reason I am recommending doing this is because one, it's easier to lucky like, password. One, because it's easier to refer to it. Two, if we ever update the Cocos2DX engine and we can just replace the contents of the folder and we won't have an outdated you know version name number. Now open up terminal. Type in, in terminal, type in CD, drag this on. Now you want to run the setup.py command to run it. Do that for slash setup.py. And you'll go through all of this. I've already you know, done it before, so it was a little quicker. Now it's asking for NDK root, which is for Android. Just click enter to skip Android SDK root, press enter to skip. I've got a separate video covering that. Next, you want to copy whatever is in this command here. It will be slightly different for you depending on your username. So copy that, paste it here, click enter. Now we can actually use Cocos. So we can actually use it like so. And if we do Cocos new dash dash help, we can see all the commands that are available and properties when we create a new project. What we are going to do is chain directory. I'm going to chain directory to the desktop and this is where I'm going to actually create the folder create the project I should say so in here we are going to say cocos new the name your project I'm going to say test project then we'll put dash again you can change the package name you know if you ever do a certain template all of that stuff I'm simply going to you know, change the language. That's all I'm going to do. Dash L, set it to C++. If you want JavaScript, you do JS. If you want Lua, you do Lua. So CPP, click Enter. As you can see, it started creating the project right here. Shouldn't take long, about five seconds or so. Now, we can actually close the terminal down. Close that down. Open up the project. Go to the iOS Mac folder. Double click the Xcode project. And you open the open Xcode. Now we have all the code files right here, so we can actually you know, start coding. This video isn't about coding, it's just about setting you up. So to run your application, if you wanna run it on mobile, you just go to test project mobile, or whatever the name of your project is, select the simulator that you wanna run it on, or if you have a physical device, if you wanna you know, run it in for the Mac, you can run it like so. So I'll just keep it you know, for mobile, so just click, the run button it will build it the first time you build it it will take a little bit longer because there's quite a lot of tasks that it needs to do but subsequent builds should be a lot quicker so this you won't take a ridiculous amount of time but it'll take more than a few seconds so if we just wait patiently for this to complete then what we'll have is the application that will launch up so we have the two, you know, the main scene, the hello world scene, that's the default scene that's provided. We have the app delegate, which is some properties about 
the actual screen and some audio based properties you know feel free to have a look at it but you know be careful with what you change inside of it and okay so it's about a third of the way there now a little bit longer. Let's go have a drink of water while we wait. Okay, so we're about halfway now. A little bit longer, a little bit longer. Okay, about six eighty nine, six ninety one. Come on, come on. We have people watching. <laughs> the last the six or so hundred was just that stated it really quickly you'll launch up the emulator which it has a simulator i should say same thing really and any moment now it will open up the application so there we go and it's just launching launching it up that's the splash screen and any moment now there we go the default application is set in port landscape mode and that's it. That's how you set up Cocos 2DX. I use version 3.1, 7.1, but this video will work for other versions as well. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. Now, I am Frahan of Sonar Systems. We have created the most extensive library of Cocos 2DX videos, so feel free to pop me a message and I will assist you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome video.